Hey guys, Carl Sadago here from KnowingInsight.com and today's Midday Power Up is about how setting short term goals can actually help you out in the long run. Now what do most people do? Well, come New Year's Eve, they say, okay, my New Year's resolution is I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna lose weight or I'm gonna get a new job or I'm gonna do this and I'm gonna do that and they never really set up an actual plan. All they do is they figure out that they want some goal to be accomplished and then they leave it at that and then for the next couple of weeks or months they're kind of just blindly going through the motions of what they think is going to get them the success for that particular goal. Now, what you want to do is start setting up short term goals because what this is going to do is in three ways it's going to help you to attain more success than you would by setting one long term goal and then just taking stabs at it in the dark. So, first thing you want to do is of course you want to define your goal in a clear manner. You want to make sure that you have you know, written it out or maybe even drawn a picture of it, but you want to clearly see what it is you're trying to achieve. So let's say you want to lose weight. Okay, well, what does losing weight mean? Okay, let's say you want to you want to get buff. Okay, well, what does getting buff mean? Now, how many pounds do you want to put on? How many pounds do you want to lose? What do you want to look like? So you go to magazines, you take pictures, and you see, okay, I want to look like this person, or I kind of want to, you know, have my body resemble this. That's always the first step. Now, how is setting short-term goals going to help you? Well, the first thing it's going to do is when you set a short-term goal, you're going to give yourself um, better vision. Okay, what I mean by that is when you set a long-term goal, um, you don't really know how you're going to achieve it. You don't know how you're going to get there. All you know is that you're going to put some effort towards it, but you don't really have an action plan, a roadmap. When you set short-term goals, it's a lot easier to see how you're going to get from point A to point B because it's a little bit of a shorter period of time. Okay, it's a little more attainable. It seems a little more, um, you know, it's going to be easier for you. So. That's the first way it's going to help you, is it's going to really give you better vision and it's going to give you more of the ability to see how you're going to do it, really. Uh, for instance, you would say, okay, instead of I'm just going to lose weight, you can say, by the next month, I want to lose 10 pounds, okay? Or by eating this amount of calories, I want to put on this much more uh, weight and this much more muscle. And then obviously you would weigh yourself or you would, you know, take the the measuring tape and see how much you've grown. And so um, that's one way. Now the other way is you're going to build confidence a lot easier because what's going to happen is you're going to start building confidence through competence. And you're going to start to build certain momentum as you start to achieve these little tiny goals. Okay? Now remember, you're, you're setting short term goals so you're going you're gonna to put in the same amount of effort but you're going to start to achieve more of these smaller goals giving you more momentum and it's going to give you more of a reason not to quit because you can actually see your success in the past. You're going to say, well, I've actually, I've already lost this much weight. Uh, I'm eating a lot healthier now. You're going to be able to see it. It's going to be measurable. So it's going to be a lot harder to quit because you're not going to be as discouraged. You're going to have that confidence that's been building up. Uh, lastly, what you're going to do is you are going to see that the impossible is not so impossible. And by achieving these short-term goals, you can say, wow, you know, this was actually a sticking point that I've had. I've tried to I tried to get this goal um, under my belt you know, several times and I always got stuck at this part. But now that you've created short-term goals, you can actually pinpoint where in the entire process you were having trouble and now you can kind of nitpick and figure out the kinks in that whole system and now that short-term goal you just um, you figured out and it's going to help you, you know, get to your, to your longer-term goals. So those are just three ways that setting short-term goals is going to help you on the long run. So think about it, let it marinate, and we'll talk soon.